Hey, what's happening, guys? In yesterday's video, we talked about Arduino and PWM because the Arduino doesn't have a built-in digital to analog converter, a DAC. So today, we're going to talk about a DAC that you can use. And why would you want to use a DAC? Well, if you need a steady DC output with no switching going on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at yesterday's video. I'll link to it down below on uh, PWM. We showed that we were getting a frequency of about 490 hertz. So all the Arduino was doing was switching on one of its GPIO pins 490 times a second and averaging a voltage by controlling the duty cycle. Well, a DAC is going to do it much differently. The DAC is simply going to output a straight DC voltage. You will find there is no switching going on. We'll put it on the, the same meter we used yesterday, and you will see uh, there is no frequency. It is going to be a steady DC output. And that can be good when you're dealing with some high-frequency stuff where switching can interfere, or if you need an actual analog output, say, if you're doing some audio stuff. So let's zoom in here and take a look. I'll rotate this around. This is the MCP4725 DAC. It's a pretty nice little unit, digital to analog converter. It's 12-bit, which means it can accept values up to, what, 4,096? Which is considerably more than the 10-bit uh, ADC on the Arduino can input. So you can do a little switching there, but it's not hard to deal with. It works relatively well. Connections are also quite simple. Ground, VCC, it can accept up to 5 volts, but you're going to get better resolution with 3.3 volts. SDA, SCL, obviously it is an I squared C device. This ground is ganged with this one, so you can use either one. And the output. That's really all there is to it. it like I said, it is a really nice device. With no load on it, it's only going to draw... Yeah, somewhere around a half a milliamp. Typically, it's going to draw around 21 milliamps, and it can supply about 25 milliamps. So you're not going to want to drive a speaker with it unless you, you know, use an amplifier or something. Now, this is the El Cheapo Chinese version, which you can find at address 0xc0. That's the hex address for it. If you buy the nice Adafruit version, it comes at 0x62, so uh, be wary of that if you have trouble or you need to switch it. You can solder these jumpers here, and it'll switch the address to 0x62. Now, what I've done here is I've got a, just a little demo program that starts at 0 and then ramps up to 4096. The output from the DAC here is going over to analog zero. So the Arduino is reading it. And then we're also going to read it with the meter. So let me get that set up and we'll come back and we'll take a look. Okay, I've got everything hooked up here. I've got the meter on the output pin and connected to our circuit ground. And what you're seeing there is just little residual left over. It's not powered up yet. You can see there's no LEDs on the Arduino. So I'm going to power it up right now. And you can see the voltage is starting to climb. There we go. And you can increase the voltage in as little as one, about one and a half millivolt steps with this. It works out really nice. But here's the beauty. When we switch this over to the frequency counter, nothing. It is a straight DC output. No worries about switching noise, no switching anything from five to zero. That says 1.6 volts, you're getting a straight DC 1.6 volts. So that is very cool. A really useful device 
and it's uh, relatively cheap. I showed it in the uh, last mail or mailbag, uh, slow boat from China number 13. I think I paid around a dollar for it. I'll put a link to it down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.